You have five seconds to leave the premises. Five, four, three, What's going on guys and welcome to Mutant Year Zero Road to Eden. Um, I believe this game is a, a adventure game but with an XCOM twist. If you don't know what XCOM is, it's a turn-based strategy game where you take your turn as one team, the enemy then takes their turn as another. It's an RNG type of game and I believe this is very similar. The, only tw the, 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 the thing that's different to this is that I believe uh, it's an adventure game as well, so you will be running around and then instead of accepting a mission to go and do a battle very similar to XCOM It's it's uh, how, how do I say it? it's like it's stitched together. It's unique We'll be on an adventure next minute. We're, we're in a fight and then next thing you know we're, we're, I think we do want to do like a zoom out camera kind of thing. I've only seen like a trailer of this uh, I will put the trailer at the beginning, so I hope you enjoyed that of, of the game, so you kind of get a, a feel for what it is. Um, so, without further ado, let's start. Uh, let's start. Let's do a new game. Um, by the way, I've never played this before. It's on the Xbox Game Pass. If you've not got that, go and pick it up, and you can uh, play along with me and tell me how your story goes. So, we're uh, hard. You have some experience with tactical games. I kind of do. Uh, enemies deal more damage. Stalkers regenerate 50% health after combat. S uh, skill cooldowns are not reset after combat. Permadeath. Ooh! Fire. But normal, you are new to tactical games. Enemies will do less damage. Stalkers regenerate, uh, regenerate all health after combat. St are these stalkers? Skill combats are not reset after combat. Uh, after combat, I think we're going hard. It's obviously it's in the middle. It's not easy. It's not very hard. So I think we'll just go with this. We're gonna go on Iron Mutant. Like I said, I've never played this game before. So this could this could only be a one episode gameplay. And if that's the case, I'll redo another one if you want it. Okay. So let's start this game. I'm not gonna speak to you in the cutscenes. I'm gonna let you enjoy it as much as I'm gonna enjoy it. And uh, let the adventure begin. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Dux, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before prep closes for the night. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, we are. We're in. Okay. New location discovered. The Metal Bird. I believe this guy here is called Ducks. 
Um, as we just heard in the little cinematic there, um, he was speaking to his wife. Oh, ducks this, ducks this, that. And there's somebody called Hammond uh, on me, the not annoying. Shut on the arc. Want to see annoying? Um, I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and mouth shut. Yeah. You only these guys me remind me of um, Borman. Someone on Pumbo. Did you just call this guy Borman? So we've got ducks and boar men. Okay. So maybe everyone's going to be uh, named after the animal that they play. I'm guessing with it being an XCOM style of game, we are going to find other recruits. Maybe. I don't know what I'm looking for here. Stay put. Hey, follow me. Oh, split up. Uh, okay. Come on. So I can tell him to stay behind. Look at this. Beautiful. Just beautiful. This scrap's gonna make us heroes back at the Ark. Okay, so we've got 60 scrap. I don't know what the other one is. And I think that's one health kit, right? The other one seems like an ammunition, like a yeah, revolver pin. Like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Good meat. I smell it too. Where there's stalkers, there's Ark. Where there's Ark, there's... Killing time for schism. Ambush. Tactical combat. Combat is a turn-based. Uh, turn-based. Each stalker gets two action points per turn. Some actions such as shooting, throwing, or sprinting will end your turn once used. Okay, so he is called Borman. So, okay, so yeah, that it, now you see what I mean? How it's turned into uh, very much like an XCOM game, and we do get shields here as well. Uh, I'm gonna. Do, is there full cover? Target out of reach. We have no cover here. I think I'm just gonna pull him, pull him behind this. Um, how do I? S oh, okay, that's how. The fire weapon is out of range. Throw a grenade, Overwatch, and dig down. Dig down. I'm guessing is gonna be like hunker down. Um, just we gain a bit of defense. Okay, so let's just move him behind here. And that's his turn over with. So let's put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. If nobody knows what Overwatch is, if you are new to these types of games, Overwatch is he's going to now not shoot until one of them moves. So if one of them comes in close range um, and they move within line of sight or firing range, he will then take a few shots. But this is a bit, we're being a bit of a predicament here because he's over there. I've got no other, no other cover here. So, next time we go into a combat scene, we need to think about where um, where we initiate the combat. We need to look at our surroundings. I'm just going to hunker down here, I think. Because he is in the open. So, cover. Uh, the half gives you 25%, where the full gives you 75% uh, defense bonus. Okay. Uh, flanking flanking a cover position will cancel its defensive bonus. I'm guessing we get another turn here, right? We do. Nice. Because we are on an ambush, um, they don't know we're here. Can I switch? I can. I want to try and get as close as possible to do the maximum amount of damage. What's that link mean? What's that? There's like a... Oh, it means they're going to see me. Okay, okay. That's what that uh, that eyes means. It's like um, a mask. So is that. Um, so let's let's put him on Overwatch in case this Marauder level 1 moves. Overwatch. And we're going to get him to attack. Uh, what are these? Are they like bandits? Chance to hit is 75%. Range, uh, the, because of the range, it's uh, minus 25. Critical hit chance is 20%. Uh, we are still hidden, so we get an extra plus fifteen percent. Uh, okay, let's let's do this. Oh. Sorry about that. Is this guy going to see us now over here? Oh no, we're still. Uh... Oh, this is cool. I like this. You see how we've gone back into this control now? Oh, this is cool. So I could move around here, lose line of sight. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, no, no. 
Let's go beyond this half wall here. Hide. Okay, and then I want to ambush again. You have been spotted. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Throw a grenade. <laughs> it does a bit of splash damage. That's nice. Uh, activating this uh, unit will engage it into combat. Ignoring it will allow you to keep it uh, keep it hidden in the same location for later. Hidden units can be spotted by the enemy in combat if they get too close. Okay, so let's activate him. Uh, let's move him around here. Obviously, we've been seen. So we're going to go behind the uh, cover. What provides us 75%. And we are now going to attack this guy. <laughs> Great work. Never seen ghouls this far south before. Okay, so you can control them individually as well. The oh, sweet. Day. Something's up, Borman. Okay, I, uh, I kind of feel how the uh, this game could be. I think it's going to get a lot more complicated later down the line, you know. We're still sneaking. Why are we sneaking? Is it because we've just been in battle? Okay, there's more enemies up ahead. We got ourselves some ghouls. One of them looks like he ate a ghoul. We better get into ninja mode. Listen, turn off your flashlight. If we sneak by the water, they won't see us. Enemies with Red Skull are too high level for you to team uh, uh, and will kill you. Ooh, okay. Avoid Red Skull enemies and explore the zone to find encounters that match your team's level. Right. How do I... He's just really turned the thing off. Oh! Okay, so B sneak. I this... will rip off their tiny stalker arms and beat Faces till they die. Jesus. Faces to no one loves a stalker. Give me the stalkers. Let them come. Where are you? Or don't even love stalkers. We're over here. Level fifty five. Uh, so this is the next location. It's a uh, really good looking game. The arcs up ahead. Home sweet home. Oh, I'm gonna kiss that elevator when I see it. Get upstairs, take a bath, get a grog with the boys. Get another grog with the boys. Foot massage. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great. The campsite. Looks like a family lived here. Lived here and died here. Nothing like a bunch of skeletons to put your mind. Oh. You can use a medkit at any time to heal your stalkers in the uh, infantry. Healing outside of combat always refills you to full health. What's my infantry button? Oh. Hello. Mutations. Items. Oh, this. This game could get really interesting. Mutations. Okay, so these are kind of like um, leveling up points, right? That's pretty cool. So it is like a bit of a tech tree. I like. And then we can choose easier stats. Mutations, so this is like 100% critical chance, 25% accuracy, enhances uh, kills to recharge. Hmm? I don't get that. Maybe we'll uh, get a little hint on how to do that. Kills to recharge. So we're going to get three kills, so maybe we can use that ability again. There's a cabin up ahead. 
definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. If you are undetected, you can uh, scope out enemy positions and keep isolated weak enemies using your silent weapons. This uh, this can tip the balance of a fight into your favor by reducing overall enemy numbers. Okay. Yeah, I noticed that. How that was a different. Uh, like I'm gonna keep com comparing it to XCOM because we have been playing that on the live streams. Hungry, hungry. I guess we take the ark. Taste the mutant. <laughs> Love me some mutants. <laughs> there we go. Rip their hearts. Crush their. Hey, hey. You hear that? You hear that noise? I hear my stomach. Hungry. Kill. So they're inside of each other, right? So how do we? Oh, we can just go into ambush, right? So them two have got a line of sight of each other. So if he goes down, he's going to get seen. But this guy, however... Oh, 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 bumba, 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 bumba. You have been spotted. Is it because of... He's not alerting anybody yet. Another one bites the ducks. Another one bites the ducks. Oh, here we go. Uh, when your stalker team levels up, each mutant gains a mutation points. Mutation points can be used to unlock powerful combat mutations or to improve your stalker's stats such as health or improvement range. Interesting. So... Does this require four points, or does this need level four? I'm guessing it's one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, do you want to buy Skull Splitter for one? Yes. And you... You've got this. Permanently increases your health by one HP. I believe this guy's going to be more of a tank and uh, close quarter combat dude. Nice. We should have just got increased health. Let's get this open. Oh. A gaper. A gas powered cannon, uh, humorously named after the type of damage it has been known to deliver. Launches fat, chunky shells. What the gaper loses uh, subtly, uh, it gains back in power can knock back most enemies oh can destroy covers knock back enemies damage is six crit damage is seven but two ammo per clip and a range of eight okay so what has uh mr borman got here so we can select this this is a stealth weapon though yeah it's silent there you go it says silent and then you have got a scattergun which is basically a shotgun Range of 8, crit damage. That doesn't have anything. I'm thinking we go with this. Let's put that on him. On him. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to put that as his secondary. He can have two shotguns. Okay, so how do we deal with these two? So if... Is he? You coming? Come on, Pumba.
Is there any more walking around, or is it just this, these these two that's left? Because if so, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let's split up. I'm gonna leave him there. I'm gonna sneak around here and get behind this, right? And then I'm gonna switch over to him, bring him around this side. He's not gonna move, sweet. And I'm going to get him behind this tree. Right, and now we're going to ambush. You have been spotted. Yep. We'll alert a new unit. Yes, we know. Which is that guy over, over there. So I want to move to this. I want to get as close as I can. Because I do have a shotgun. And I will alert that. Oh, I've alerted him. Okay. And I want to fire. Boom. Sleep is one. The enemy heard you. Yep. Seventy-five percent. Oh, this guy's got higher uh, health. Let's throw a grenade at this guy. Do a little bit of damage to him, and he's gonna have to move, right? Hold on. Did I just throw a smoke grenade at him? Overwatch. Okay, this guy's on Overwatch. It's going to cost two actions. Right, so, I, none of these can move without a line of sight. So, I'm going to put him on Overwatch. Overwatch. And I want to get you as close as I can to the building. Maybe he will get seen. Let's have a look. He didn't. Okay. There we go. That's how you do it. That was awesome. Nice. Artifact collected. A boom box. A strange talking box that hisses at you like a snake when powered on. Sometimes, depending on where it is placed, uh, it will speak to you with beeps, whistles, or even faint voices. Includes a handy slot on the front uh, for uh, keeping things in. Hmm, okay. Uses uh, artifact points to upgrade uh, for upgrading the arc. Look at this beauty. Right. The ancients left a lot of ugly junk behind, but once in a while you see something like this. Wonder what these buttons are for. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I'm not kidding around. Lay off the buttons. What's up your butt? That's a bomb, all right. They used to call it a boom box. Touch that red button, and it goes boom. Don't be pretending <laughs> you know what any of this crap is. We'll bring it back to the Ark and show it to Prip. Ask him what it's worth on the black market. Okay, we've just got to level up as well. Um, so let's... Or did he get? He can get an increase in health. Um, and then I think we're going to start saving. What's this? Movement boost. It permanently increases movement by two. Increases your stamina, permanently giving you an additional plus two of movement range. Nice. Broken gun, uh, weapon parts. I'm guessing these scrap weapon parts can be spent to upgrade your weapons in the arcs. I was about to say that. I'm guessing these uh, scrap is going to be able to make equipment for us. Um, anything, uh, supplies, grenades, all that goody good stuff. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark 
is humanity's last outpost. A lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. A mass grave spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. That's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. Well, that was interesting. Level 25. Is it automatically taking us here? It must be. That's the elevator, isn't it? Home sweet home. The elevator's up ahead. Arc outskirts. Okay, so there's a question mark over there. I'm guessing that's to another district, maybe? And there's one over this way as well. But our mission right now is to get to the Ark, and we will explore. Whoa. Whoa, hold up. Got two ghouls hiding over there. I think they want to hitch a ride on our elevator. Forget that. Let's sneak around and see if there's any others. Hmm. Box opens. We go in the box. Box goes in the Ark. We take their food, we take their guns. Mutants in the Ark. Too many, too many. Mutants are weak. We kill some fast, we kill some slow. But we kill them all. Box is coming. We kill them all. <laughs> I love the dialogue yeah, in this. Yeah, prize time. What's that? A snazzy visage. My, uh, minus 25% added to the weapon's range. Misery tactical visor used uh, in the poker stealth conflict. This stylish piece of gear reduces glare, granting its wearer a range bonus. Okay. Stalker Claronaut. It's a crying shame with this uh, Tabata. Delta would have surely given us the discount she mentioned. So here's the deal. A working spark machine lies to the east of the Iron Serpent within the Scrap Ruins. This was one of those devices for burning things together, or whatnot. But of course, there's no silver lining without a fucking cloud above it. Them damn ghoul bastards who lurk in the ruins came out and chased us, uh, chased us away before we could recover it. Next time, ghouls, we will get you good. Stalker Clara. Hmm. Maybe we'll get to meet this Stalker Clara. Let's see if there's anything over here. Who do I put this visor on? I feel like we're going to put it on, uh, on on Mr. Duck here. Helmet. <laughs> Items. Burn targets for two turns. Okay, so... 
the actually he started with a smoke grenade, right? He's very much stealth. I believe I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna unequip this and I'm gonna put it onto the uh, onto the, this guy. What's he called? Borman, Humber. So you can get bigger backpacks. Is this or a backpack here? Or is this just a notification window? I guess there's only one way to find out. So I'm thinking we pick this guy off. Uh, this guy that's walking around. Oh, can we climb up this? We can. Okay, there's nothing up here, but we can use this as a tactical advantage, right? I wonder if it's going to have the same... Uh, Okay, that doesn't take health, does it? No. Um, you know, the higher the advantage, you got more chance of critical hits, uh, better accuracy. And oh, this guy's coming over. Serves you right. Nice. I like this, um, this, like, seamless combat. Okay, so he Over doesn't, here. he doesn't fight, he doesn't follow me, um, after every, everything, you know. Are you by yourself? So I'm just wondering if we if we go into that. I wonder if the the enemy get to attack uh, get to attack first. Sorry about that. Okay, back me up. Them two are still over there. What level is that guy on the right? He's a level six hunter. He's got a bit more health. Do we take these? Yeah, yeah, let's take these, because we might get to level 4. So, let's switch this up a little bit. I want to put... Oh, he's following. Wait here. Okay, wait there. That is extremely close. He's getting closer. Come on. No, no, god ahead. damn it. Okay, regroup, no. Right, I want to ambush. And then I'm going to launch that Molotov, because they are together. Um, and then I want you to uh, attack on to... Can I select target? Oh, yeah, press RB to switch targets. I want to go for this hunter guy. Now it's getting fun. Because hopefully when he moves, now he's going to get a damage. Yep, there we go. Enough. You did good. And we did it. Nice. Ancient sight. Uh, manage 20%. Is that... Is that 20% added to the weapon's range? It's because it's got the little dash. I keep thinking it's minus. Iron sights from the uh, water predates the arc. Old but sturdy. Increases the range of uh, whatever weapon it is mounting on. Uh, upgrade weapons in Delta's workshop. Okay, well, we're still going to meet Delta. Regroup. These ghouls are getting way too close to the arc. Better get in the elevator quickly and go upstairs. Well, we're here. We finally got to the uh, the elevator. The elder meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man, and that man is Hammond. 
Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrolled that far before, but the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. Okay, so this is the Ike. This is different. So where do I go here? Delta's fixed bit. Oh, this is Delta, the the, the weapon thing. Okay, so Why it's not a place. Go down? For the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? So this is not a place we can walk around. I wanna add the laser sight onto that. Because that stealth weapon, it can come in clutch. Increase the range on it. Damage modules not available. And obviously we have, we don't have any uh, upgrades. Upgrade this to rank two. Ah, okay. Interesting. Take it easy. Uh, Pip's place. Have a look at the bar. After a killer day in the zone. You know you can always come to Prips for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? Okay. Ancient artifact, tough guy. Extend crew bleed-out time by two turns. Unlocks an extra grenade slot per crew member. Uh, grant an additional 20% discount in uh, Iridia's shop. Um, I'm liking this. Since it's, we're new to the game, I kind of want to extend the crew's bleed out time by two turns. And then that is telling me, once one person goes down, they're not instantly dead. We have to go up to them and heal them. So an additional two turns is, uh, is pretty pogs. Till next time. Okay, so I don't know where the zone is. Let's check. Uh, this is the shop. Uh, Iridia's. You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the Iridia. gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever... Ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. Okay, you have something weirdly wrong with you. Wow, these are expensive. Okay, it just goes sure we need to uh, salvage a little bit more. Hmm. Bye. But you're, she's the weapon shop and a little bit of a psycho. The zone. Okay, that's the lift. So let's go and see the elder. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit. And I'll offer you some guidance. Perhaps a story. 
to help you become wise and strong. Okay. Goodbye, stalkers. Okay, guys. We're going to put a cut here. Uh, thanks for watching the very first episode of uh, The Mutant. Uh, this is our very first Let's Play game I'm putting out there as well. This will be going out on Tuesday, I believe. Uh, and if it is Tuesday, hooray. I did, I did something on time. Um, the, another video will be going out tomorrow. Uh, and I will be putting a video out every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. There will be no videos on Saturday, Sundays. That gives me time to do any recordings, do any um, editing, and get it all out for the week after. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video again, and I will see you in the next episode. Peace out, guys.